Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I will tell you about how you can create perspective text effect in Canva. If you are struggling with it, then this video is definitely for you. Now let's get started. First of all, you have to open your Canva account and from there you have to create a custom size for your design. As you can see, there is written custom size, so you have to click on this button. And from there, you can manually add the width, of, width and height of your design. I'm choosing this Instagram post square, which is 1080 to 1080 pixels. All right. The file is opened now. From here, you have to click on the element. And from there, you have to write here a square. Or if you find it manually, so you can select here. It's taking a bit time. As you can see, there is already square available. So I have click on it. And now I'm enhancing it, the square, according to the screen size. All right. Okay. Now I'm locking it up. All right. Now I'm adding lines in diamond shape. As you can see, I'm writing here line. And now I'm taking this particular line and enhancing it according to the diamond shape. As you can see, the diamond shape is completed now. Now you have to click on the app. From there, you have to select the text craft. As you can see, I'm writing here the text craft. Sorry, the type craft. Okay, you have to click on the type craft, this software. And now click on open. Okay, now you have to select the font, first of all, according to your interest. From there, I'm choosing this particular font. Yep, this one. Okay, now I'm choosing the outline and now I'm changing the color. First, the border color to the white. Okay, now I'm also changing the text color to white. Okay, from here I can adjust the shape according to my interest. First, I have to change the type craft 23 text to the perspective. So I'm scrolling upward. And here I'm changing the text to perspective. Okay, I have changed the text and now scroll it down. Now I will edit the perspective from here. I will try to make it look like a 3D effect. Okay, let me apply it so I can see how it looks. Click on the add element to the design. It's taking a bit time. Okay, it's applied now. Enhance it according to the screen. Okay, it's bit look not nice. So we can change it and we can add more details to it. So let me add some more detail I'm enhancing the size I will also edit the corners of the text so that it will look like a building which is in a 3d form All right, I have updated. Now click on the update element and that's how the text is updated now. 
now you can remove the lines that you have placed for the reference all right that's it for today's video i hope you liked it and enjoyed it. if something was unable to understand then you can comment down below us and don't forget to hit the bell icon and thumbs up button thank you